welcome back to Press X for Chromosomes, where we actually had already played a portion of this, but fun story, our power went out literally Hooray! in the middle of it. For so, no fucking reason. Which, okay, that, like, I, yeah, I don't know why it went out. I don't out. know either. Whatever, it was, it scared the shit out of us, and then we <laughs> kind of just sat here, and then we're like, I guess fucking go back home, and then in the middle of talking outside in my house, the power came back on. To be fair, it was like, in like it was an, an hour, hour later, later. Yeah. Because we don't we know how waited. to shut the fuck up, clearly. <laughs> but like, so... Unfortunately. unfortunately unfortunately we lost a partial episode mm-hmm. fortunately it was the last episode in the session and the last episode of this particular series and that session so it was like Ugh. yeah like was one oh, one, oh no we lost, we'll, oh, no we'll redo some of it i guess yeah. darn so a bro venture we high five and decided to jog back to the park to see if we can find any leads so it looks like there's a couple more places to check around some bros here that we can interrogate <laughs> sounds good Wait, who's good cop and who's bad cop? I think about it for a second. Well, I think that with your stature and overall resilience, you would make an intimidating bad cop. But on the other hand, you do have an adorable baby strapped to your chest, so that softens the edges a bit. All valid points. I think you would make a great good cop because of your congenial attitude and willingness to try new things. Oh, thanks, man. But then again, I've seen how you get when there are too many commercial breaks during a show. So you have the p- potential to be a scary bad cop. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to have to watch me, hell, and three minute segments with five minutes of commercials in between. And they're loud. The commercials are too loud. I just want to watch my shows in peace <laughs> without people yelling at me to buy wiper fluid and stuff. So I am him in oh, that yeah. regard. I yeah. fucking get. Oh. So like theaters and that kind of stuff. Dad and I will literally count how many previews there are, and like sometimes like to like not even like, the, like not even like the previews before like the screen goes dark and like yeah. that kind of stuff. The preview, the preview previews too, oh, because like yeah. there's like the I hate the, like the first look shit. Yeah, like the kind of like the kind of previews where okay, the movie's gonna be starting soon. Take your seats, and then, yeah. like, and then the lights dim, and then then the previews happen. And then it's like, okay, movie after like seven more previews yeah. and it's like 20 minutes later. I, I like previews because I'm like, yeah, what's coming out? What are you like, uh, you know, well, I was going to say stereotyping, but not, I know it's not the word, but you know, like when they fucking, uh, you know, type the type of audience or whatever. So mm, they fucking yes. start throwing things um, at they, they think the audience would like based off what they're mm-hmm. watching. So like, I'm like, what do you think I'm going to like this time or whatever? And then it's like, like fucking like rom-coms and fucking like, like children shows i'm like i'm watching like a disaster movie the fuck it's like, like how we went to go see the one with tina fey and the the the, the sisters it was so movie. confused it was didn't so know confused. what the fuck to do because it was like what do we do you what want do we do fun, but like I mean, maybe you like rom-coms maybe you just want like drama yeah uh, maybe you want action but here's has- here's the thing for star wars too i think there was yeah there was like one and action movie fucking- weirdly placed in there yeah it was like the hell is going on <laughs> it was a very like mixed well, bag well like it was like that fucking one where they were showing inside out but they accidentally showed previews for like horror films oh, before yeah. it <laughs> <laughs> so all the kids were like ah! <laughs> oh, that's my shit yeah. case in point <laughs> let's play it moment by moment i like previews though because i like i said i like like the previews the, the are first fun. look shit fuck that i don't need that right, but no. like previews yeah okay i don't know what's yeah. coming out i don't there fucking was... i don't hover around that shit we were at the um one of our local theaters like the quiet ones mm-hmm. um nearby and because it always plays the jg wentworth that you know not not the jg the mike gallagher the, yeah the, yeah that one and so the previews were playing and we were waiting and we were waiting i leaned over to my dad i was like are they not gonna play the the gallagher and, oh, they always play it they I'm fucking like, have like a like, fucking devil's deal but it with was them. like it was like already like they'd already played like five or six and it hadn't come up they played like the suicide awareness one and the gallagher one hadn't came up yet i was like did the fi- contract finally expire <laughs> and the last one was the gallagher <laughs> ad and we were both like yeah you guys, it's still around you guys should <laughs> like <fucking> finally <laughs> look it up on youtube it must it has to be up there it's, it's so, gotta be it's up there terrible. it's, it's terrible it's an awful horrible. fucking it's cringe like ad 90s. yeah and like it's for this like 
local lawyer or something like that that will help you like gain custody or like divorce and won't do it, it messily is, like that's yeah. what he's promoting but the ad is so not great it's and terrible. they show it all the fucking time all the in that time particular the theater. theater and so it's like a goddamn like local legend at this point because <laughs> really like is. you can't escape it like i said they have like a devil's deal yeah, yeah, like, right yeah i think the guy that probably owns the theater also it's is like the lawyer friends. i think he is <laughs> like, yeah, like you're honest like for that kind of frequency and like right. the ad hasn't changed in like seven years so no. it's I've, it's probably like, been longer I think than seven got, years honestly i think they remixed it like i think they like shifted some scenes around and shit probably like that and like shortened it and stuff like that. but it's the exact same footage <laughs> like oh, yeah. that shit hasn't changed my favorite thing is like when they use like the same footage like three or four times in the same in the in the ad oh yeah, yeah. or they like it's like clearly one long scene but they just have cut it up yeah. a couple times <laughs> like and place shit in between <laughs> so where to you protective uh let's we went to the playground first right? yes we make our way over to a small playground at the edge of the park. A couple kids play on the jungle gym while parents watch on the nearby benches. Over one of the benches, I spot a familiar face. <laughs> it's 100% right away. <laughs> Let's see what Joseph's up to. We jog over to Joseph, who seems to be engrossed in his book. <laughs> Joseph. Joseph nearly drops his book. <laughs> so that, like was, that was me when Alistair threw the fucking dress at me earlier today. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hey guys, I didn't think I'd see you two out here. Albert, are you exercising? To be fair, Joseph is just kind of my favorite character in the series. Because <laughs> right he's now, so fucking, well, he's so ridiculous he as a, like a youth minister and an entire person, <laughs> a sexual deviant. Yeah, when well, like <laughs> fucking like drops the book and calls Ernest a turd. And, like, <laughs> I love how like that's one of your things it's, that you just find so, so delightful. Fucking ridiculous. <laughs> also, this looks like the worst slide ever. It looks like a goddamn torture slide. The right? way like. Curse. I know fucking perspective, but yeah, it looks like it like crunches. Yeah. No, it really does. Sure am. You know me. I just love to run and be healthy. <laughs> That's kind of my whole thing. He says as we're going to eat an entire cake later. <laughs> <laughs> what are you reading? Oh, just a book on knots and ropes, rope tying. Uh, kinky. <laughs> <laughs> For boats. Boat ropes. <laughs> that's, that's all that he was like, shit. <laughs> right. <laughs> Say, you didn't happen to see a stuffed capybara around here. What's a capybara? It's a large rodent that's native to South America. And fucking adorable. Joseph thinks for a moment. Hmm. Haven't seen one around. I'll tell the kids to keep an eye out. Your kids are here? Joseph looks around. He's also kind of a shit dad, which is fun. <laughs> really is. I mean, he's got four kids, but still. They were here a second ago. Must have gone exploring around the park. Do you know where they could have run off to? They're kids. They get into mischief sometimes, but they always come back. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks for your help. Thanks, Joseph. We'll let you get back to your rope book. Boat ropes. <laughs> Kinky. We head back to the playground. <laughs> Uh, look, look for, for clues. clues. I remember that didn't really. Yeah, no, I don't think. I think we did this one first, and we're like, uh. <laughs> Craig and I, two grown adults, walk around the playground and begin examining it meticulously for clues. There's no forensic evidence here, no stray capybara hairs, at least. After searching fruitlessly for some time, we look up. All the parents are staring at us. We smile and wave as we awkwardly <laughs> slink away. <laughs> <laughs> Calm River Down. We tried that, and I don't think. I think did, no. It get, it got us. Oh um, yeah, no, it killed points. us in the middle. Well, didn't it? Well, I think the power went out during this specific. Was it this one? Okay, I or couldn't... no, it was a little late later down the line. Okay, because I thought it was like as we were like trying to leave the playground and go somewhere else. Yeah, I can't remember. It's been a week. Uh, yeah, this is a pretty nice playground. Might as well get a couple swings in. What about Arnold? Maybe having a little swing might calm River down. Might buy us more time. You're right. She's about to go nuclear. This might prepare her for the possibility of us not find, being able to find Arnold. <laughs> Life is cruel and tough, but at least we'll always have swings. Craig steps over to the into the baby swing and gives her a gentle push. She giggles. I take a seat on the swing next to her and immediately realize I'm stuck. <laughs> Burger seems to love that. <laughs> it's like I sat down and my uh, my buddy Megan has like a really fucking tiny chair uh -huh. or whatever, like a hilarious, like we think it's for a dog, honestly. <laughs> but like, I tried to sit in it, like just for funsies, like uh -huh. I like 
and so but and it got stuck on my hips and i was like that's impressive <laughs> <laughs> the fact they got stuck on my hips alice um alistair's uh computer chair i tried sitting in it but then i very quick the moment like my hips like touched like the arm uh, rest you're like this isn't I working immediately was like ah, my hips are too wide for this i'm gonna <laughs> i'm not gonna force it i'm gonna get stuck or hurt myself <laughs> craig eventually helps me out of the swing and we decided to get back to the investigation all right so nothing here you move to a fucking other park where to now bro uh the field i think is where we went next sure yeah we wander around to a grassy wander out to a grassy field in center park there isn't a whole lot to see but there are a few figures camped out on a blanket and the grass could hold any number of secrets like wild pokemon oh fucking man matt and carmen said i can't believe they're actually there Carmen said it's real. Yeah, I'm surprised at the how we got like no interaction with her. Yeah, let's talk to Matt and his daughter. Carmen said spots us from across the way and waves. She's sitting down with her dad on a sunny green patch of grass. We jog over. Oh yeah, that's me. Hey yeah. dudes. Hey bro. We just sat down for a picnic. Want some snacks? Got anything to increase my <laughs> life? <laughs> The gin reserves. Yeah, gl- glycogen. Whatever. Know, fucking, I don't know. <laughs> uh, we have apple slices. <laughs> Me too, Carmen said. That's my face. <laughs> right? Thank you very much, tiny bro, but I should be fine. <laughs> tiny bro. <laughs> you guys working out? Good day for it. Yep, I'm the picture of health and athleticism. <laughs> I like how much he's just like bullshitting, <laughs> but right. obviously. Good transition, Albert. Say, you haven't seen stuffed capybara around here anywhere, have you? What's a capybara? <laughs> it's a large rodent that's native to South America. <laughs> I like it's the same fucking text. Right. Wait a second. How do you know what a capybara is? You wouldn't happen to have had hands-on experience with one <laughs> oh, recently, God, would you? Cap- Carmen said it. We learned about capybaras in the fourth grade. I think it's more suspicious that you know what a capybara is. Don't you be interrogating me, little girl. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. What if I took Arnold? What if I'm the culprit and I just don't remember? I quickly check my body for any Polaroids I might have kept on my person to remind me of who to trust and who not to trust. <laughs> I saw a memento once and I'm pretty sure that's how it works. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> but what if that's what I wanted myself to think? No, Albert, don't let them win. I shake off the thought. I saw a couple of squirrels over by that tree, though. I don't know if that helps, but if you want to see some cute squirrels, you should definitely check it out. Thanks for the hot squirrel tip, Carmen Sada. <laughs> well, we better get moving. Gotta find that capybara before River here has a breakdown. Good luck. Let me get some apples for the road, though. <laughs> Carmen Sada hooks me up with some road slices and we're on our way. Got any caramel for that shit? Right? <laughs> how, like to make, how, how to like make how healthy it, things unhealthy. Right? I like how it said we maneuver back to the field. Like, like <laughs> Interrogate River. Yeah. <laughs> Do we want to check out those them squirrels? Squirrels, yeah. Where did the suspect say the squirrels would be again? By the, the tree. The tree? Ah, there yeah. they are. Karma Center was telling the truth. These are some rad squirrels. And apparently very humanized squirrels. River seems happy. They might... They may... Oh, fucking Christ. This may have bought us some extra time. Nice. Back to the field. Look for clues. And interrogate meditator. River might not be the thing we want to do. <laughs> we carefully come through the field of grass and flowers. I can't seem to find much besides a couple of ladybugs and a nickel. Ooh. While I'm looking, I read that as nickel for some reason because my brain's like still stuck in Mass Effect. Found ladybugs and nickel. Great. Fucking yeah, chops them thing. off and create shit with. Wait, what? No. <laughs> <laughs> While I'm looking, Craig calls out to me from across the field. Albert! I jog over. Craig is kneeling in the grass, inspecting something. I approach, my heart in my throat. As I lean over to Craig, I see it. I put my hand over River's eyes. No one should have to be subjected to this. <laughs> Senseless violence. My God, who or what would do this? I don't know. But I. But now I think we might be dealing with something beyond our grasp. I can't look at this anymore. I turn around, trying to wipe the image of this stuffing just run across the ground from my mind it was a fucking dog okay (laughs) we're running out of time we may already be too late bag it and tag it let's keep moving (laughs) well it wasn't ours who's got a dog we brian and robert both have a dog i've deduced where we should go next (laughs) 
The fucking woods. Yeah, because that's the only place we haven't been yet. Yeah. We make our way to the outskirts of the park. There are a couple benches by the dense tree line. Looks like Robert's here all by himself. This also seems like the perfect place to look for clues. It's Robert's dog. <laughs> no. uh, should we do this first or should we do this next time Ooh, Ooh. Listen next time. Ooh. so until next time bye